We are live. Welcome back. Welcome back to another great uh, episode of Historically Haunted Vodcast, episode three. Um, I'm sorry, episode two of season three. This this whole season is sponsored by Donnie Green, actor Donnie Green, also on Facebook as Trucker Donnie Green. He was the red truck uh, driver that killed Gage in Pet Cemetery. You know, he's just singing the Ramones. She don't want to be a punk rocker in Stephen King's novel turned film by Mary Shelbert. Uh, Hell, um, Halloween. Fucking, um, I can't think now. Give me a break. Pet Cemetery. So he drove the red truck in it. So he is actually a real truck driver in real life. Um, and he, his women, and his wife run Bauer Green um, Logistics LLC. They sponsored the show for a whole year, man. Um, as well as their family member, John Green Logistics Company, trucking company. So that's them all as a package. Gene, what's up, Gene? Um, yes, International Cryptozoology Society member, Big Cat Chaser. Very knowledgeable in the cryptids, cryptozoology field, and big cats. So shout out to my my sponsors. But also, um, before we had a seasonal sponsor, um, these folks here sponsored the show. And and they've been tuning in. Mike's been tuning in for a while. And it only makes sense to have them as guests. It's obscure research and investigation. Now, it's not just a Facebook page and a group. It's also YouTube. They have their own miniseries type thing. They do a lot of documentary. You guys got to check them out. They're awesome. We're going to check them in. One of their followers this year, John Bernier. We're just talking about you, John, and saying what a cool cat you are. The bracelets you won last week um, on the show that when we were doing this giveaway, you're going to get those in the mail very soon. Head to mail those out today, which is great. Bet, uh, Betsy, Betsy Brown-Williams, thank you so much for tuning in. Betsy is a um, promoter and also works with the searchers, Shane Pittman, Josh Purvis, and crew. She does a lot with them. So thank you uh, for checking in, Betsy. So without further ado... I got guests, I think, right? Let's bring on these cats. What is up? Who are you? Hey, how's it going? <coughs> Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. See, that's too close, isn't it? Let's go like that. That's good. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Like I said, thank you for being sponsors, Mike and crew, um, and all of you. I, I really appreciate you guys tuning in, supporting, and, and and that really got me not just like when people start liking my shit and sharing my shit, it draws my attention. But sometimes it's like, ah, eh, whatever. But when I see people doing real shit, I'm like, ooh, because I'm not gonna bring everybody on that gives likes my post. I'm gonna have every fucking Tom, Dick, and Harry on. Right. But if I'm gonna bring people on that get some good shit, I'm like, ooh, who are these guys? So, um, out of uh, based out of New York, I see, right? Kind of uh, lower New York. You guys are based out of right outside right outside buffalo in the middle of nowhere right outside buffalo middle of nowhere now <laughs> so you guys are up in buffalo uh, hey y'all betsy says hey to everybody um george DeCosta, big sponsor so checking in from disney so disney. no shit but you guys got new york covered i mean from what i've seen at least a little bit that i've kind of i'm not gonna lie it's only been a couple weeks really but you guys cover a lot of shit i'm trying to keep up you guys get youtube <laughs> stuff everywhere huh you guys right? have yeah. the whole state yeah we've done like south of here up to almost to the lakes like up north like gasport lockport batavia area and then yeah virgin Buff we did Bur we did virgin. virgin just recently the where i feel like i was attacked by swamp witch which will which everyone will see when that when that comes out but uh, right, i'm gonna talk about that by the way we are talking to mike jason and tom i didn't even introduce you guys i was jumping right in as your fucking team name like you guys don't have names like you're <laughs> like you're wrestlers from parts unknown um <laughs> So, so we're going to jump into that, save that. I want to hear back about that witch in a little bit, but I want to start like I always start the show. It, it's kind of tradition here. And we'll start right with, with Mike and all the way around. What got you all started into this? Individually answer, of course. But what got you guys into paranormal and monsters and ghosties and, and shit like that? Unknown. Yeah, I'll, I'll, start with, I'll start with me. Yeah, the, I've always been kind of interested in that, in that kind of thing. Like I've, I watched horror movies, same things. Parents go to bed. I would, I would find whatever I could on TV on one random channel and watch it. Um, always been interested in that kind of stuff. I've always been a fan like ghosts, slasher movies, all that stuff. I, I film my own horror movies, as you probably see on Facebook. Yep. Um, and, yeah, we actually started out – it was a Memorial Day two years ago. It was like one of those 90-something degree days, and we were drinking a ton of beer and watching uh, like paranormal and ghost shows on youtube or something and we're like oh, yeah. why don't we just do that and then well, we did <laughs> yeah we, we we thought we could do it better than what they were doing on the on the tv because actually i think at the time we were watching youtube uh some other youtube folks yeah like if they can do it why can't we do it and then we were drunk enough to buy all the buy a bunch of expensive equipment that day and just kind of it just went went from there basically 
Well, and to stop you in your tracks, I mean, it kind of is almost like drag racing. Anybody can do it, but it's a rich man sport. But at the same time, if you use your, your logics, you can get around. These people aren't nothing special. Obviously, the psychics in these mediums are. But as far as ghost hunters, dude, all they have is just balls and tools. And right. I think that's why it's like I don't really praise a lot of these fucking guys. I don't go to Paracons and shit to meet these people because I'm like, you're just me with more money, dude. Like, I'm good. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Oh, we're checking in. Kara Phillip is also a former guest uh, live in Lockport, Illinois. She does a lot. She's got a podcast, does a bunch of great stuff. My girl, Heather. That's my girlfriend, Heather, from Witch and Life Guy, checking in. Hello, friends. Everybody looking good. Appreciate you guys. Uh, must be a friend of yours. Oh, no, I was just saying hi to everybody. <laughs> Penny? Yeah, but Penny, maybe. That's awesome. Oh, and my girlfriend, Heather, loves Krampus in the background. Yes, Krampus guys are stalking these fucking cats. You can check them out. Um, oh, someone's dad. I swore I shouldn't have. It's, oh yeah, that's, 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 that's my daughter. Yeah, <laughs> she's, she's a old enough. If she can type on Facebook, I can swear. I'll try to. I'll try to be mindful. No, no. Um, but anyway, um, sorry. So keep it going. Keep it going. I want to hear. Let's hear. We'll get y'all into this. You like it. So I guess I'm uh, same with Mike. I'm kind of nerdy, geeky. Grew up watching, you know, horror movies. Any kind of horror sci-fi I could get my hands on. Playing D and D stuff like that. So, um. X Files, like anything with with UFOs, Ooh. paranormal stuff, you know, it's always been very interesting to me, and I'm always like watching Ghost Hunters or any of your favorite, uh, you know, favorite paranormal shows. It's like, is it real? Are they really getting stuff? What what are they doing behind the scenes? And I think that was kind of what irked me the most about watching some of those. It's like, how real is it? So that kind of went into my decision, like, hey, why don't we see if we can do some of this stuff? So. And I think one thing that at least I try to keep um, and let everybody know with our group is, you know, we try to keep everything very real. There's no what you see is what you get. So there's no, you know, no like, little parlor trick well, bullshit. You right? know, yeah, nobody's doing anything behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, we try to keep everything. Actually, we try to avoid calling anything paranormal until we've actually had a chance to really look at it and see, you know, hey, what's the thing? of the group? Most? You know, so we even make the joke of the group. Yeah, he's the, we even make the joke of uh, it's um, we're just we're it's like, is any of this real? Or are we just three guys sitting in an old house at three in the morning? Yeah, three in the like morning. That, yeah. That's the joke he made in the yeah. one episode. And we just kind of go with it for a while. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. like fishing. You can go forty times, maybe get a bite or two, and then at one time you get a haul. But you got to go because at one time you leave and someone else gets it. You go, cocksucker! Why wasn't I there for that? You know what I mean? Exactly, exactly. That makes, you never that's know. That's a point. Yeah, get. yeah. Because we get there's and I love it. I mean, I, I am a historian, and I love it myself. Like being at Lizzie Borden's house, I spent the whole night there. Me and my girlfriend in 2019. The girl goes, "The other two people canceled. You're all alone. Don't die. Shut the door. Fall River, Massachusetts. I'm in a house where two people get slain to death. Talk about an <laughs> orgasm all night. I didn't sleep." <laughs> and and I, I got some cool shit, some stuff triggered, but for the most part, just being there is euphoric. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I dig that shit. So that's cool. You guys got so much history where you're from. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's I, I think that's one thing that, you know, at least for me, I, I love doing is putting the history portion together, kind of doing the research, finding out, you know, what happened in the building, who's owned it. You know, what are some of the trigger events that have occurred throughout throughout time and kind of doing a little piece in there? Because not everybody does that. I mean, we've watched so many shows and I'm not trying to bash other groups or anything like that, but I think what sets us apart is we try and showcase that portion in our episodes. So you're not just going right into, you know, some guy's living room and he's investigating something. You have no clue what's going on where we actually try to yeah. pace it out. Present and, the history. And present and it in a, in a nice fashion. <laughs> so. I feel like yeah. it connects people to the place a little more. Mm -hmm. Something a little different to the point, not dragging on bullshit. So, uh, you know. So so what about the big mouth in the back? The one who hasn't stopped talking the whole time. What's up, oh, brother? Yeah, what's yeah, up? yeah. Well, Jason. He normally Jason, what's up. what's up? He don't care. He's having a beer. He don't care. As long as he don't show his labels, I'm good. Jason, <laughs> uh, what got you started, my friend? Uh, pretty much the same. Just movies and, uh, like, uh, you know. It's intriguing, right? It's <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it's intriguing. It's, got drunk yeah. and we watch videos. <laughs> it's well, think about it. It's it's like like I'd love to make cartoons or make animatronics or animation. I can't do that, but I could sure as fuck go sit in a graveyard at one in the morning with a flashlight. So right? it's kind of something you can do. We all love Ghostbusters. And at the same time, right. when people go, "I'm not really in the ghost," I'm like, "Well, you really don't have a choice. It's life and death. It's not just boogie to boogie Casper shit." Like I want to know where the fuck I go. My mom died. I died in a car accident for 38 seconds. I thought I died for three fucking years. I woke up in the ambulance. Like I want to know what, what would have happened if I would have died. Like that's intriguing to yeah. me. I guess some people have to get Absolutely. there to, to really be into that. But I really want to know. It's, it is a hobby. 
and I love the check mark of places I've gone. But at the same time, man, I think I'm in it for answers. And I, what you guys do too is, like you say, it's a lot of debunking, dude. But at the same time, you guys are digging deep for answers, and, and I, I respect that. Thank you. That's what it's about, not Appreciate just for it. publicity and oh, there's a light, run towards it, cry, oh, run, yeah, oh, yeah. Zach Bagans, right. pee your pants. You guys, are, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? You, you guys, guys are, gotta whip your shirt off and try fighting the ghosts. That's, that's it. Yeah, like, make sure, make sure you, it. make sure you got four fucking gallons of Axe cologne on and, a, yeah. and five glass, five gold cross necklaces and a skull <laughs> t-shirt. And that's, you know, that's all yeah. good. And, and I get it. It's all about entertainment. But you guys are. I don't bring on people to bring on people. I have no reason. Mm. I'll talk alone. So I bring you on because you guys are doing some real good shit so i want to talk about you guys obviously how the fuck did you guys meet as a team you guys in the same high school or what <laughs> that is an interesting story interesting. So, yay we got hey we got 25 hole. minutes fill it you, you asked the question so we're going to go down the rabbit hole so let's let's take it back to mid 2000 2000s uh i'm working at a retail store uh gamestop wow. okay well yes gamestop <laughs> um mike ends up getting hired so we actually ended up working together there for what eight eight, eight years, years eight miserable miserable ass years. <clears throat> yeah um, 23 years ago you guys met and worked for eight years straight yeah and <laughs> well it gets better so i was a manager mike was was my assistant we we ran the the ship there for like i said for a, a good while after that we kind of went into banking and we both ended up awful. working at the same place again so we worked at the same bank i got in and, and mike ended up getting in there we worked together again there um so pretty much, I mean, since that time, we've actually worked together, except for maybe a three-year space where I was at a different bank than him. And that's how Mike and I kind of, I mean, we've gone through good time. I consider him a brother. We've gone through pretty much most of life's awesome experiences and horrific experiences yeah. together. Um, so, yeah, that that's that's Mike. Uh, Jason's actually my cousin. So oh, we're, wow. We're, yeah, we're family. So we've been, we've been pretty close since we were younger so we i just... met jason through him and that's about yeah. it with the story of that. yeah it makes sense but you're all family at this point what does it mean shit? Oh, yeah. oh yeah absolutely um uh, a uh, fellow author someone i haven't had on the show yet but he says hello adam and hello ori obscure research hey, right? on, investigations um people checking in now we got about uh, 15 people watching around the world check in guys in comments where you're from um these guys are open for questions we're kind of just spinning around the room with with uh with with the fine folks it's just you three there's no other members right <clears throat> not that nope. i've seen videos just us and, and we had a um we had christina farner as a goat uh not ghost a guest a guest on uh our season one season two premiere at wildwood we she was a guest on our, on our yes christina's there. my girl uh, crystal clear terror i had her on um one of my episodes, uh, her with another girl from tarot, tarot cards doing stuff. And she always lets me share. She shares shit. She's good people. She's an explorer too. Not just all that shit. And she actually, I think got you and me hooked up. I think she was yep. on the show and that's why yeah, you started she, watching. She was sharing the things I think told me about you and that kind of, that's how it happened. Oh, I was meant to be. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, okay. Well, we got, we got uh, Washington state, Bremington, Washington, right next to Seattle. We got Thanks. Betsy Lou checking in from Alabama. Okay, that's man. cool. Um, so, so I want to ask you guys some fun stuff. We've got plenty of time here. Um, what, what's y'all individually, of course, what's y'all's, um, give me your, your number, two, your two favorite bucket or your two top bucket list, one for America and one for anywhere, not America, two places you got to go before you go. Like a, like a haunted place or just in general, any place could be in general, maybe a favorite sports team city, maybe a place you wanted to go visit with your mom. I don't know, whatever you choose. Cause every place has got history. Every place is haunted. Let's face it. I would like to, I think if I was going to pick one place that someone said, all right, you're going to go on vacation. I think it would have to be Greece. I need to send those beaches. I I always been a big into Greek mythology. That's always been huge to me. Seeing like Zeus's temple or like any of that stuff, I think would be amazing. I like the God of War games because it's Kratos. You get to slaughter all of them. Yes, Lord but Kratos. The Greek mythology is always my, and that's my top like bucket list place to go to at some point. And as for the States, oh man. Fucking everybody! Everybody says England, which is not England, but uh, uh, Ireland because the castles, which is great. And, and but it's so my no answer. One, <laughs> no one ever says Greece. That's where it started. Athens, the Greek gods, dude. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's Greece. where it started. Greece is a phenomenal. Wrestling started there. The Colosseum, all that stuff. Rome. I mean, built from Greece. Inspiration. I mean, sorry to cut you off. I just that gave me that fucking excited me. Good answer. <laughs> I love Greece. Um, give me your American one. Oh, I don't I know. I cut you off and you lost your train of thought. 
Yeah, I, I don't know where my American one would be. Oh, bullshit. Never been to Disney World, which is the cliche one. I've never been there. Been twice to Florida. Yeah, it's not uh, bad. You're uh, okay. Let me ask you this. You ever been to Maine? I've never been to Maine. I would, a lot of my family is actually from Maine. My mom's side, a good portion of them are all from Maine. Really? My grandmother grew up apparently wherever Stephen King grew up, I guess. Which uh, I saw pictures that you posted on Facebook. Oh, you, you like, just won like, my you know, heart. Really, my well, grandmother was, grew, like grew up right around there, I guess. Well, he was born in Portland, but he grew up in Durham. And then he went to school in Lisbon, where I went to school in Lisbon, which is right next to Durham. Durham's a one-horse town. He grew up very poor, no running water. I've been to his house. He was born next to a church, and he actually was a minister there and actually attended church before he was a minister. And it's the oldest he Methodist church in New church. England, 1815, still standing. <laughs> so anyway, don't get me going. It's not your mind. It's not about me, you fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, you didn't really answer me. So is it Maine? Is it Salem, New Orleans? You're give me an American one, brother. We'll do New Orleans. Yeah, I want, New Orleans, I think, would be – I we've talked about New Orleans a lot. And I, yeah, I would say – let's say New Orleans. I think that's – I like that. One. That's mine, yeah. too. I mean, between the, the vampires, the voodoo. Voodoo the, stuff, all the, the the big cemeteries with, like, the mausoleums and stuff. I need to see that. Yeah, gorgeous. We'll New Orleans. I need gorgeous. to get absolutely destroyed it in one of the bars there. You know, it's classic. <laughs> <laughs> Important. All right, next up in line, we got the dude in the middle. Tell him, give me, give me a couple bucket list, my friend. Come on, uh, JW. US, US would be Alaska. I'd like to see Alaska. Oh, that's I a good like one. That. Um, any part in particular, Fairbanks, or just uh, anywhere in Alaska? I like. I used to go hunting. I enjoyed the outdoors. So, to me, that would be like kind of like the last frontier. You know, there's a and native peoples up there. You know. Uh, hang out. I would love to hang out with native peoples and uh, you know learn their ways. Go fishing with some Eskimos up there at some old fucking twenty degree pond or something. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> you know, there's a lot of survival shows I watch too. So it'd be cool, like to to learn how to survive in that uh, you know in their. Uh... Oh well, I like that. That's a great. It's, good it's not easy. It's not exactly paradise. People don't go to, <laughs> to go to va oh vacation in Alaska. So it's definitely it's a rare breed. Being from Maine, I could do it no fucking problem because all Alaska is a big Maine. But, yeah, uh, really is. <laughs> in my opinion, but um, which reminds me, someone did say something up here, and I want to give her someone give you a shout out. Let me see where was it. Oh shoot. Some questions real quick. We're going to get back to your, to your favorites, but I um, actually, no, fuck it. We're going to keep going and I'll go back to this question. So give me a, a bucket list for not America. Oh, <laughs> I, I, Making them think. I like that. And, and, uh, <laughs> Sm smoke's going to be coming out. Do you Speaking of smoke. All, all, the, all the castles, <laughs> all the history there. That's you know, cool. I, I can dig that. You, you you like you seem to like the old school. You seem to have an old soul. Do you like the grit, the girth, the old school ways? You don't like you know that shit. So um, that's cool. Um, well, all right. Last but not least, let's hear your two. Uh, well, you already said one of mine, Ireland, and and there's two reasons for that. A, my, my family uh, on my mom's side came right off the boat. You know, during the kind of the immigration boom in the early Ooh. 1900s. So. Wow. Um, and I still have family over there. They actually run a, a, a B and B, and they I don't know if they own a I don't know if they own a castle or if they have one of like a small manor or something like that. I, um, but they're over there. So if I, I would have a place to stay, I would have I'd be able to go visit. And uh, oh, you'd have kin. You'd yeah, have, yeah, you'd have it in. So, Is that a hostel? Is they call it hostels, right? I don't or, know. I, I think I think they have like a, it's like a B and B type thing, like a bed and breakfast. Like oh, they have. Okay, like, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, I see pictures and they have like a huge area, like I don't know, lawn area, and they do they do all kinds of all events and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, my mom yeah. knew all about that stuff. Uh, you know, she she passed uh, last year, but uh, I'm sorry. My oh, 2019. No. I'm still mourning her every day. I cry over my mom at least once a week. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's morbid. But uh, when we were investigating uh, Sardinia, which is it's literally two doors down from where I grew up, my mom passed a month after his mom did. Like while we were doing this, it's, it's, it's crazy. Like how that yeah. how the timing worked with that. But we were originally going to do something that was like two hours away. Van Horn, right? Yeah, it was Van, Van Horn, Horn Mansion yeah. up like two hours away, up kind of north above Buffalo. I've heard of Van Horn. I've heard of Van Horn it's Mansion. Cool. We're, gonna, we're gonna do that for season three <laughs> coming up here next year. 
Yes, but, we're but, gonna get into the, we're gonna get into the serious stuff too. And I'm dude, I'm sorry about both your mom's losses. I mean, oh, obviously shit crazy. happens. Crazy. Crazy. I get it, yeah. but it's fucking sucks, dude. Yeah. My mom was my biggest fan, dude. Oh yeah. Um, my mom didn't like my Facebook posts, but she liked them. And then I'd yell like, "Mom, that's not one you like. You don't want to like this meme. <laughs> you don't <laughs> like my Facebook stuff. You never you like all my stuff, but not that. Why don't you like my? Oh, my mom used to do that. Why do what's why don't you heart mine? You just thumbs up it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're not getting out, dude. What what's your one in America? In America, I, I, it's kind of it might seem lame, but I, I am a history buff. I love like Civil War, World War II history stuff. Um, I've never been to Gettysburg, so if I were to go to one, shirt, uh, good one. I didn't even see you were wearing that shirt. Awesome, Zombie Slayer. I bought it yeah, in Gettysburg I when I went. Yeah, I go. Oh, I awesome. bought it. I buy. Oh, that. You know what though. <laughs> I've never been there, and I'm super excited. Mo we want to actually investigate there at some point. Oh. Um, so hoping that you'll happens. find something. Yeah, I've we've heard it. We've awesome. heard it's like yeah, one like of the just crazy ones there. there around. Um, we hear that every place <laughs> we go to, but you know maybe <laughs> yeah. that'll actually uh, pan you know out. What I didn't catch that. Would you say that? there's a little bit of uh, every place we go? There's a lot of hype of what kind of activity has happened. Oh. And, uh, so it's like <laughs> you know, we'll see. We'll see what we. What we find, but mm -hmm. uh, everybody says top 10 in the world, top 10. Oh, yeah, everything's <laughs> all yeah. 50 of these places are top 10. Okay, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and what the fuck rates them? Is there a thing? Well, there's been five cases here instead of six, so that goes up on the ladder. Like, who the fuck are these nerds that do it's the fantasy football people, you know what I mean? I love it too, no right? <laughs> yeah, but yeah. that's cool. I dig that because you go into Gettysburg, dude. Most of Pennsylvania is like that anyway, the boroughs and all that shit around there. But once you get into Gettysburg and you see the wooden fences and you see the monuments and people are reenacting. You're like, holy shish kebab, where it's pretty wild. And I'm yeah, man, really. <laughs> no, I, it's hard not to. I've been twice and ain't nothing like walking around the battlefield, just sitting there looking and they're still finding bullets and stuff to this day. They're still finding shells. Crazy. And yep, you that's, imagine? Mm -hmm. it's crazy. We should do that for a season finale. Yeah. So, <laughs> so obviously, Mike, you do filming. Oh, hold on, okay, real quick, let me get you some questions. I'm sorry, I gotta. If I don't do my chat, they leave because they're babies. Um, oh, my girlfriend and Kara said they're both waiting for uh, uh, Krampus to to attack the dude in the <laughs> middle. <laughs> Keep an eye on um, I wish you would. Look, oh, look at that. He's paying his sister to say good oh, things. Oh, there's him. there she is. Yeah, that was behind a little bit. That's why I wanted to catch up. They're all saying hi, yeah. different stuff, and I want to make sure to include everybody because it's. Uh, I appreciate you guys all tuning in. Here's a question: Does anything scare you guys? O R I. We've actually talked about this before. We we do like a little series. We were for a while there. We'd get drunk and go in his basement. This is already sounding bad. Uh, and we would like talk about a random topic, like uh, some random thing for the show. So for the show, yeah. we we talked about some like random topic. Like we talked about like alien abductions. We talked about like the the Polybius conspiracy. That all like all kinds of weird stuff we'd find online. But one thing we both agreed on. Aliens and abducting it scares the living shit out of us. The the abduction scene in Fire in the Sky is terrifying. Ooh, like I will, awesome. I'll, I'll sit in a haunted house that says there's 18 demons in here. They'll kill you and throw you across <laughs> the room through the window. <laughs> but if you tell me there's aliens around, I don't want. I don't want to do it. They're gonna get me. They're gonna probe me. I don't like it. I don't want to look at them. Aliens scare <laughs> the hell out of me. Go. I I, I would agree yeah, with him. Uh, aliens before, scared me bad. <laughs> Have you seen the fourth kind? The the the, the one where the it's, it's up in middle of nowhere, Alaska. It's Alaska. Oh boy! And it just goes in and he wakes. He's just in like the thing. That's fall. like that is like my worst nightmare. Something like that to happen. And yeah, aliens absolutely terrify me. Well, they kidnap I, you. They put right. tests to go like scare you. But these things take yeah. you away to where? Yeah, don't you touch know? me. <laughs> yeah. So it, if they're real, that would be my most terrifying uh, uh, experience possible. What do you well, mean? <laughs> well, let me ask you this then. Are you guys technically open to that? Do you guys investigate any cases in your area for the fuck of it? Or We're, we're actually, there. there's a, a few, not hot spots, but there's a few historical cases that are in New York and PA that we're actually thinking about shoehorning. Well, not shoehorning, but putting in a, uh, somewhere in season three and four. So there's we a, do have something in the works. For yeah, that. there's a town in New York, which I, I, I went to Sleepy Hollow as a trip last year. Sleepy Hollow, New York. Me and too! On the way back, there's the... Uh, I forgot the name of the town. It's a town Fairy in New York. Have to look it up. But uh, it's the UFO hotspot in the whole state, and they even have a diner called the the Cup and Saucer, 
and we went we and we went there and there's a paranormal museum and stuff there but apparently it's the ufo capital hot spot of the of new york state and we were considering going and i was just going there casually i was just on the way home from my trip but we're we were kind of considered doing that like a whole episode there is like a something different than our usual paranormal yeah. three guys in a in an old house just sitting there at three in the morning because I mean, let's face it, aliens is kind of under the umbrella, like monsters, Bigfoot, all that shit. It's kind of oh, like the yeah. Fred Richards, who's I know from Maine, he's in MUFON, and he went to New York to do something in that fucking town, and I can't think of the name of it, but I know what you're talking about. It's in New yep. York because there's a UFO convention there too, and they have little milkshakes you can buy with alien heads and splits. So yeah, <laughs> it's not Area 51, but it, for the East Coast. Um, I've been to Betty and Barney Hills uh, uh, abduction site in New oh, Hampshire. That, that's one of the, yeah. That's, that's the one Frank Cody and Notch. I've the, been to the placard. Yeah, Dude, I've been to the placard. I went to Kingston, New Hampshire to their grave sites. It says the unexplained journey on their tombs. I got a video of that on my YouTube channel. Everybody subscribe. There's like 18 people watching, probably because of you guys. So Adam the Historian Ghost on our YouTube. I just had 300 fucking subscribers. Dude, I go to Betty and Barney Hills, the house they died in in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Barney died nine years later of a brain hemorrhage. You tell me why. She lived to be 91 and can name the whole Milky Way and Galaxy. Wrote five books and died in that house too. It's in Plymouth, New Hampshire, Yellow House. Wow. See, stuff like that's just, God, it's crazy to me. <laughs> like, Very intriguing. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Why did he die of a brain hemorrhage? He said, and you listen to the videos underneath therapy, and he's like, get off me. Get that out. They, they, they do. They probe you. Ghosts will freak you out. Bad ones may take you over. Do you guys believe in demonic possession? Do you guys ever, do you guys feel that's like possible? We haven't experienced anything of that sort. Like, we've experienced no, stuff that is either. tough to is tough to like explain, which I'm I'm guessing we'll talk about later because we've all had good stories from our adventures. But like, I I grew up Roman Catholic, so <laughs> for me, I, I have I, I fight a constant battle between the I guess you could call it my the kind of the scientific part of my head and then the spiritual side. So I'm like constantly fighting. You know, is this stuff what we're doing real or is it just a bunch of baloney? And and I constantly go through that, but. I would say like exorcism and demon possession and, and any of the kind of the darker stuff, it, it terrifies me. It Actually, uh, I see someone commented Pine Bush, New York. Yep, that's the name of the place. Pine Bush. I want to catch up on comments, but I want to ask you guys another question. Uh, this goes to all three of you. You guys are, this is from, from, from Sissy. Uh, you guys ever been touched by a ghost in any way? L3, you, any of you? These two. And, uh, me. Oh, yeah. Not we you, not yet. Not no. hey, not um, you know of anyway. In, Hin in Hinsdale House. I was uh, sitting in the the most haunted room of the ha haunted room of the building, Danny you know, class Mary's in room, New York, yeah. And I put a pillowcase over my head and had like the, because it looked good for the the show. I had a pillowcase over my head and put the <laughs> the headphones on headphones on my ears so I couldn't hear anything. Well, it's the Estes method. Estes method. Yeah, yeah. Estes method. Yeah. Estes, and I yeah. felt I felt something what felt like touching my leg, and it wasn't just like a wire brushing it or something. Cause it, you know, we were doing this long enough. We can't know. It felt like something not fully grabbed, but something like touched my leg a little bit. And, and I jumped right up. I, ju I screamed and I jumped right up. Like, like pulled or just like to let you know it's there. Like I'm here. I think it was just like, let me know it's there. Like, Hey guy sitting in my guy sitting in my room with a pillowcase on his head. It's like, Sometimes I'm here. I wonder how they look at us. Like what the fuck are these assholes want from yeah, us? I know, right? I, I, <laughs> um, Another question for all of you. Question for the guest from the uh, Dungeon Dan. Um, of all the equipment that you guys use while investigating, what's your favorite piece, or what seems to register uh, the most with the with the uh, the phenomena? Great question, dude. That's a good question. Uh, uh, let me take you go ahead. So uh, let's get my technical. My, my favorite piece of equipment that we use is the obelisk because there's no, it doesn't have speakers, so you can't, you know, a lot of microphone. people microphone. I'm sorry. A lot of people say, well, if you use stuff on your phone or some other devices, you know, it, it, the microphone's going to pick it up, cycle through the word bag, et cetera. Avalos doesn't have that. So it's self-contained. And I don't know. I, th I think it's my favorite. We get some good stuff with it. And yeah. it, and it's the same thing with, with the Avalos and like the spirit box. It, a lot of the stuff we get, it's, it's too, a lot of it's not probably nonsense, but it's too coincidental to be nothing. Yeah. Do, do you know what I mean? It's like, Sounds like it, you're it's asking a specific question, yeah. question and you're getting a response that's associated with that question. How can it be, you know, how can it be such, you know, like not a, not a coincidence? Yeah. I don't know. There's I a lot agree. of people. It's an intelligent being. Yeah. 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 I mean, 
Sometimes you like my mom. I talk to my mom all the time. I'm like, oh, mom, please get. Like, I just started my new job this week. I go, mom, please get me through the first day. I made it through. Sure, it was me, but I like to think my mom gave me a little bit of nudge in there. And fuck anybody that thinks otherwise, right? Because mm-hmm. I, I think there's a little bit that shows you things. Songs that come on, right? Uh, the Crystal Ship from Sticks comes on. My mom's favorite song. Like that never comes on the radio. And it fucking came on Stephen King's radio in Bangor, and they played Crystal Ship from fucking Sticks. I'm like, oh, give me a break. So I cried a little bit, but I smiled and I went to work fucking feeling good. She was with me, and that's I'll. Take awesome. it, right? Yeah, you gotta believe in that to an extent, and right. I get and I get it, dude, because I, I get it. Like you're, you're. I mean, all three of you. I can't speak for all three of you, um, but I could tell that you're definitely into um, seeing is believing. You kind of want facts, right? I mean, which makes sense. But sometimes you just go with your gut and go, ah, fuck it, it's her, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, if we could, uh, if if we could have Tom share his touch story because it's it's better than mine. Please do. Way more entertaining than mine, and it's scarier <laughs> and better than mine. I, he has oh, to really? Share, Tom. <laughs> this is one of our early ones. This is uh, episode four of season one in Greystone Manor, which is my personal favorite place, but Tom had right. a good experience. Go That's my next one to watch. I'm on season – I just finished the third one when you guys went to that fucking place. I just – I skimmed through it. I got to sit back and watch it when I have time, but yes, I subscribe. But anyway, go ahead. Sorry, Tom. Go ahead. Oh, no, no problem. I got ADD. Yeah, no, Greystone Manor, I, I would agree with Mike. That's probably in, in the top three of the ones we've been to. I, I love it. Heather, the owner, is is fantastic. Like, she really does a really good tour, gives you a lot of the good history. But anyway, one of the rooms there was the former owner's room, and we were in there asking some questions. You can see the room. It, it's the green room in there. <laughs> and uh, the owner, Mr. Root, actually died in that room. And I, I wasn't trying to be – Sorry, you, you gotta get a little backstory of why this would uh oh uh well the owner the owner mr root used to raise uh like racing horses uh, yeah yeah and he died he died when a train went by because it was right by the erie canal where uh it's literally like right there if there was oh, the, the erie canal, canal yeah. um he died by his prize horse rearing up and landing on him and crushing him on his chest the front right. door. It comes into play with tom's story <laughs> So, Wait a minute! He got trampled to death, and it's gonna be eighteen, late eighteen hundreds, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it was, no, the, the horse fell on him. It fell on his right side. So he he ended up getting back on the horse and going back to to the house and laying down. And yeah, he had internal injuries, and they it, two weeks it was like two weeks yeah. he suffered with it, and then ended up he suffered he, he for two the weeks. Doctor. Yeah, two weeks before he died, suffered it, on that. Wild. Yeah. yeah. So uh, anyway, wow. we're we're in that room, and I was I was yeah. making comments like oh, horse well, puns, horse puns. He was know. making horse puns. Uh, we should get up down the trail, you know, get on down to the next room. And I wasn't intentionally trying to do it because we don't intentionally, you know, antagonize or anything. You don't usually thinking, horse play, Tom. You don't do yeah. horse play. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we were in there investigating. We went dark. Mike was by the the Nazi uh, oh, Nazi suicide trunk, trunk. trunk. Yeah, it was which was. Bad. They had a bad history that trunk, and I was I was sitting inside of it, and nothing happened to me. I'm sitting inside the Nazi suicide trunk. Whoa, I probably would too. That's pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly! And all of a sudden, I felt I started feeling ill, and we were dark, and you know we were asking questions, and I'm like, okay, it's probably nothing, you know, just try and shrug it off, and it started getting worse and worse. Like I felt this just pain on my right side going down my entire right chest area and it was getting worse and worse. I'm like, Oh my God, what, what, what is going on? What is this? So I got up, I left the room. I probably should have told them what I was doing, but I was just so, I was just so, (laughs) I didn't know what the hell to do. So I just ended up leaving the room. It didn't get any better. It got worse. And I'm like, Oh my God, am I having a heart? You're like, I don't think it's a heart attack. That'd be over here. You know, I I have a little bit of my arm. Yeah. Um, So I went downstairs and just kind of, you know, had some water and kind of shrugged it off. But that's where he got crushed was on the right hand side, and so oh, that's yeah. where we kind of put the two and two together. And the the coincidence is almost it. I mean, it's almost too much. Like a it it just so happened. He's he's making horse puns in the very proud patriarch of that house who used to raise prize racing horses, who died in the same spot of one of his prize horses being crushing in the same like. The coincidence is almost too much with that one. I'll show you what it feels like, you bastard. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what we thought. Yeah. And I walked down with my phone and just like, hey, how you doing? Because the show must go on. You know, I'm the director. so I have to say, Oh, hey, I got to watch that next. I might watch after the show tonight. Ooh, that's, that's, that's season <laughs> it's, one episode it's four. Our favorite play. It's in my favorite place so far we've been to. I love Grayskill Manor. It, it was terrifying. And looking back on it, I'm like, okay, 
you know, the, the skeptic in me is like, what was it just a psychosomatic response? Were you just having spasms? What, what was it really? But at the time I thought somebody was, was killing me. Like it was, it was really bad. That's I would say that, that's by far the no. most terrifying thing. That, when you think you're having a heart, you're double checking to see if you're having a heart attack. That's yeah. not, you're not doing that for the camera. That's like, okay, am I life or death yeah. is beyond camera work at this point, my friend. And, exactly. yeah. and he um, is out of our group, the, he is easily the, the skeptic of the bunch. Like I'm I'm like more of the side, I'll jump at stuff and what lot more than everybody else. Tom's more Tom's way more of the skeptic. Jason's the, the Goldilocks just right section. Uh <laughs> he's a little bit of both. <laughs> Right the, middle, one of the, group. But the fact that it happened to the, the guy who is a lot more of a skeptic definitely said, you know, said more to that. Right. He was like, oh, maybe it's gas or maybe fucking whatever. Maybe yeah. I just got a pain. But no, you were like, OK. But the um, fact that he walked up and left like that right. definitely was something. Mike, real quick. Look who's here. Hey, Christina. Hey, Christina. <coughs> and uh, Aaron, it must be someone of yours. Ari, do you guys know her or him? Ari, Ernie? No. Is it Ernie? Um, Mount Hope Cemetery in Rochester, New York. It's about an hour. Yeah. 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 Mount Hope Cemetery. I'll have to keep that keep in mind. Keep that in mind. You know what's cool? Mount Hope Cemetery in Bangor, Maine. It's the second oldest garden cemetery. It's Mount, it's fashioned after Mount Hope in, in Cambridge, Mass. That's where Stephen King played the Reverend at the funeral scene in Pet ah. Cemetery. That's at Mount Hope in Bangor. No oh, really? awesome. Yeah, and right next to where he played the Reverend is a little tombstone, and it says Georgie on it. So you fucking tell me. I would lose my mind if I saw. I would drive up the main just oh, to man. see the Georgie. Georgie okay, thing. check it out. It gets better. So, the, in back of that is one that says Carrie, C A R R I E, and supposedly he hung out there. That's why he wanted to be there. But check it out. Um, with a place where they dug up Gage, where he climbed the fence, that's there too. And right in front of that is America's first Republican vice president. He was a Republican vice president to Abraham Lincoln, but he died in Bangor on the couch. He had a heart attack um, playing poker right before. Lincoln got assassinated, so he didn't take over. Hannibal Hamlin, and he's buried there. He's from Maine. That's no shit. Oh. You guys come up to Maine, dude. I'd love to show you guys. We'll go get a burger. We'll on my list. I it. would love to. I actually, fun fact, fun. A would like to retire in Maine, and B, Stephen King is my absolute favorite author. I love everything he does. Dude. I cannot, words cannot describe. Dude, I mean, let's think about it. He's been with the same woman since before he made it. He's never cheated on her ever. He's good to all three of his kids. His lesbian yep. priest daughter who's handicapped. His two sons who are quirky yet genius authors. He's just a guy that donates to libraries and homeless people. And, and he, he's just a fucking god, dude. I'm sorry. Like, I've, And 50 of his books have become movies. So you know what I do on my YouTube channel? And what I do, I go to where they shot... Maximum over or the inspiration for maximum overdrive. Maximum overdrive. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good yep. trucks, dice hearts. It's an all you can eat place. It's in Herman. That's where he met. I'm sponsored. This show sponsored by Donnie Green, as you heard, the guy who drove yep. the truck. Yep. But I've been to the house in Hancock. I've been to the um um graveyard shifts mill. It's in Harmony, Maine. I've been there. Oh, I got a yeah, shop yeah. from there. Yeah, you go awesome. the outside. Oh yeah, they have, the, the cemetery is not there in the pond, but I've been to the pond. I get some water in a cup somewhere. I'm hardcore, man. I yeah, I'd love to bring you guys down. Storm of the Century, Bonenson, come on in. I've been to that house. They all sleep in the big fucking diner. Yep. It's, yeah, it's a bed and breakfast. I want to sleep there in a snowstorm this winter. That's my goal. Stupid, but I want to do it. <laughs> nice. But anyway, it's not about me. But you guys come to me, and I'd roll the carpet out. I think we'd have a lot of fun with some cool history. Um, That'd be awesome. I'm going to catch up to the comments now because I wanted to get totally mold. We got a lot. All right. Uh, tell him he's actually – tell him it's actually a castle that our family owns, and it was turned into a – Ah, uh, that's what it is, yeah. My sister knows more about the history of our Ireland family and kin than I do. So, yeah, that's that's what it is. There You're we go. kin to a castle? Yeah, I You're guess like they own a castle, yeah. I mean, your family – wow. You got to get over there, brother. You got to take the crew, <laughs> right? That's in County Cork. Never heard of it. That's amazing. It's got to be. I mean, here in America, we're like, oh, 1600s over in Europe. They're like, yeah, we got 1300s, 1200s. Take it back. Right. <laughs> um, Christina Farner says Gettysburg is amazing. Oh, Correct. Oh, can't wait. Jay Hill Studio Six podcast checks in. What's going on, my brother? Also got a new one, a new podcast. Uh, let me go through. Holy moly. Um, I missed a lot of chat, huh? Right. Here's another one. Tom had an experience and I at their investigation that caused him some. That's the one. Yep, that's, that's the one. one. Just catching up. That's why. Well, it's just Melissa. Where are you? Don't mute here. Today. <laughs> um, there's Danny Perez. Danny Perez checking in. Uh, Danny's a friend of mine in Connecticut. Where is it? Right here. 
He was um, he was on a couple shows and stuff. He makes Ouija boards out of Connecticut coffin wood, and he drives around in a hearse. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys should check out with him. Um, George DaCosta, he actually got me a, a box of, of uh, 666 made vodkas that were sat in front of the Annabelle in Monroe, Connecticut. And it comes with a box of awesome. gloves. He checks in. Um, wow. You guys talking about Watertown? Must have been earlier. Um, never been to Watertown. I don't. I think that's further in the state than what we were. It's like mid, is it mid state. Yeah. I think mid state. We're, maybe. we're slowly kind of spreading working our way out because we've covered a lot of the, the local places. So like actually for, I think the furthest we've been was Auburn, New York, which is kind of near the finger lakes. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh. It was like a three hour drive. Our longest one's going to be conjuring house in uh, October. Harrisville, Rhode Island. I drove by when that girl still owned, it was calling the cops on people. So I didn't stop. And then Corey from Maine bought it, and I didn't go out because COVID hit. Cock suck, you just can't win. <laughs> um, Donnie Green, there he is, the truck driver. Nice hat. It takes yeah, that's Donnie, to me. That's the guy that killed Gage, dude. He drives trucks in real life. They want him to do uh, Did the Lord's work, truck. Donnie. He grew up in Maine. He worked at Dice Hearts. They hired him to do trucking, and he did that. And he said there was a guy on his truck, Spread Eagle, recording him. And when they killed Gage, they tipped the truck over. Of course, he was out of it, but they've refurbished the truck. He's going to do tours with it, and he wants me to sit shotgun with him in some parades this summer. Oh, oh that's so awesome. 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 So, yeah, sitting in a piece of movie history. We were talking about the room earlier. Christina was saying about the green room, I believe it was. It, it, I think I think she was talking about the Mary's room in uh, Hinsdale. Where uh, I was okay. Too. Hinsdale, I so. New York, Denny Classhouse. Yeah. Yep. Uh-oh. Someone's calling you a sissy. Greetings, Donnie. All right, guys, I'm catching up to chat. Sorry, guys. Brady Goble from Chasing Paranormal. Hey there, checking in. Hey, um, hey. No such thing as coincidence. Smart. Let's see. When my um, Caitlin says, there's another, uh, there we go, the, the, your daughter. When your grandmother passed away, your mother, my dad was also there in the car. The song that was playing all day at her funeral comes on as soon as I turn the radio, do it on the radio. You tell me, dude. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's a sign. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I have nothing. You can't measure it. You can't record that. People are going to go, what does that mean? But personally, that's a personal mm -hmm. sign, which oh, to me is a little yeah, deeper. Yeah. Yeah. But you, I can see what you're doing, brother, because I can tell right away this guy, like this fucking guy's a debunker. He's the type of guy that goes to cemetery at midnight. Who cares? All it is is the sun gone down. But I can see you <laughs> being like, okay, that was recorded. That's something we could check out, which is cool. Yeah. I respect that. You do have an open mind. Um, another author, Christina Vincent, author, says she's a big Stephen King fan too. So many people love that man. Um, Okay, another question for y'all. What's your opinion oh, I, on the orb thing? I orbs. Now I am getting chest <laughs> orbs. Ah, I'm coming, Elizabeth. I'm coming. I don't. I don't believe. I, <laughs> unless it's something. I don't buy because every place we go to is filled with dust and mold, and that's probably why I'm coughing. Uh, I don't. I. I don't. Unless it's like a specific. Unless it's like a bright orb that's like sitting there, and it look. It doesn't. It's not clearly a bug or anything. 99% of the time I don't I don't really buy into orbs when I see them. I think orbs are a bunch of <laughs> BS. A <clears throat> bunch of I'll, bullshit. I'll put it politely. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't yeah, buy I don't, orbs too I, often I, don't I, I would say nine at least the ones I've seen 99.9% .9 can be especially cuz I I make I make movies myself Disproved. so I know how like cameras and stuff work and yeah. I I see him go the through camera a certain way. You can make the camera band. You can make the light dance. Oh, look at the orb dancing! Fuck that! I see. I see things on YouTube where like people circle orbs and stuff like that. Dust guy, calm down. Like, no. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So I would be happy to be proven wrong. If if something super oh, yeah. bright I would mean, come by and like on the screen, I'd be yeah. happy to be proven wrong. Right. Or in my face. If I'm walking in a store and something comes in my face and tap dances around me like a fucking yeah. crystal ball and leaves, even though I didn't <laughs> record it, I will believe orbs from the day I die. But <laughs> I have never, I dude, I've been at funeral homes. I watched my grandfather die in front of me when I was 15, flatline. He vomited yeah. and puked the whole night. That was it. I didn't see, or I mean, I'm not saying they don't exist. Like you say, there is that little bit of a chance. There but half the time, between bug. bugs, dust, and people just doing the camera. Ah, fuck that. You, yeah. I mean, you can't be yeah. too naive because you'll get eaten up in this business. They'll sell you everything. Mm -hmm. um, Christina saying hello. That was a little bit earlier. So she, she, I'm sure she's still watching. We got about 18 people watching. I'm trying to catch up on questions, guys. Thank you for letting them come on. On your investigations, has uh, have you guys ever seen someone in your provisional visions? Like the side. Good question. I have. That is a great question. Yeah. And it, it's tough for me because shadow people, you hear about them all the time. You hear about shadow figures. And I'm like, 
I, I feel most of the time it's it's a bunch of baloney. You're probably just seeing something. You, you know what I mean? Like I always try to disprove it somehow. However, we were at Sardinia in, yes. in the hall. Out of the corner of my eye up in the top, uh, it would have been the left balcony. I thought I saw a shadow figure person up there of some kind. Now, can I prove it? I don't have any evidence. We didn't have any um, cameras pointing in that direction. It could have been the light. It was a lightning storm outside, so it was probably something like that. But for a second, I really thought that I had actually seen something. That Which, was the only experience. And I've Sardinia is interesting because I we just went there because I I mean I grew up across the street basically, and we went there because. I, I, every time I've been in that building as a kid, I always felt weird, like a heavy and, feeling. And after I announced that we're going to investigate there, we had a ton of people message me saying, hey, go to the go to the men. I had a ton of people saying, go to the men's bathroom. They experienced stuff in there. Like that was yeah. a that's why I said I spent part of the investigation on the toilet. So I'm sitting there like an idiot with all my devices, just like, hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm on the I'm on the shitter. <laughs> Mike is the, the, the showman of the, yeah, I'm the, I'm the showman episode, of the group. So. Tom's a straight man. Jason's. JW just <laughs> but but for context the Sardinia meeting house is it's a like a small historical society and they don't let a lot of groups actually we were the first we're group the first in there. they don't let anybody in there and that was just because um, we, we knew like what a my, treat my, and it's interesting because my dad when he was alive was part of the uh the historical society there that's the only reason we got in there is because he knew them I had the same name as him just yeah. junior so <laughs> it it kind of helped that way so but so that was an interesting one because that's the only place we ever been to that wasn't like officially haunted. That's not on the haunted history trail. That's not like an actual haunted house. But we got some of the best like evidence we've ever gotten was at that random place. So that was but that's my thing. That was I mean, what we've been to. I, one of the one of the coolest yeah. because the personal thing for me. And then just we had the obelisk say Mike on there when I say, well, which bald guy do you want to? Because it said we'll interrupt. <laughs> and I say, well, which I was like, well, there's. Who are you going to interrupt? This bald guy over there. Tom was on the other balcony. And I said, or this bald guy over here. And said, Mike, immediately after I said that. And I lost my mind. <laughs> I can hear him screaming. I mean, see, like, it, as you brought up earlier, real quick, Mike, as you brought up earlier, that's an intelligent response. Yeah. Even though you can have program responses, it could say Pete, Tim, Palm. Yeah. But it said it Mike. just Come happened to say off. mine. Like, it's too much of a coincidence again. That's weird to me, right? I mean... I don't know. That's weird. Um, yes, Gage from Pet Cemetery. Yes, that's what we're talking about. Here's a here's kind of a weird question. Um, ha, <laughs> have you ever had to agree to ghost sex in exchange for a solid EVP? I really hate putting that out for that. I guess he's serious. I don't know. I, I never heard of that. I never have, never, but I'm, never I'm not. A, I never have, but I'm not above it. <laughs> Dan Aykroyd got some good head in that movie. That Playboy <laughs> right. chick died last year. <laughs> oh, I'm not above it. Um, no, you're not late. Nathaniel Ella checks in, a successful YouTuber. What's going on? Oh, orbs, the dreaded question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's funny because people that aren't really into it, they know about the orbs. Yes, you're right. Real quick, I want to get some serious shit, and I want to plug all your shit. We still got about 25 minutes left to go, 20 minutes. But real quick, I want to get to this question. Oh, the Swamp Witch. This one this one was from our most uh, recent investigation at Bergen House. Now, the backstory of this place, there was UFOs, Bigfoot, um, Swamp Witches. Swamp Witches. There was a, it's, it's on protected swampland now, the area. Yeah. Um, and the backstory was she was telling us there was like witchcraft, which uh, by the railroad tracks that are on the other side of the swamp that's located near Virgin House, there was re, what reportedly a coven of witches. They found stuff where they, where they perform rituals and stuff there. So they found kind of remnants of, of that stuff. And, so I'm standing yes. in the woods by myself like a jerk off later on in the night. <laughs> they're on a different, they're on a different side. I'm standing back there by myself and I'm behind this tree and I'm, I'm just asking questions, you know, everything. And I said, you know, if there's any, any witches that want to make themselves known and the branches behind me went completely down. Like someone literally went like this, like it bent, like they bent over you. Like it looked, oh, it looked, it actually, it looked like someone hit it. Like it, that's how much it, it moved. And <laughs> I showed it to a couple people. None of us can actually explain what happened. And that's the most I've jumped. We tried. He, he tried. Uh, it's of course he, of course, <laughs> of course. Here, here's the thing. He, there's a few different, there's a few different theories we have, but it's a 50, 50 for me. The Only timing, it, the timings, uh, the timings, one thing. And just when I asked that question and just how it happened, 
And it was the biggest I've ever jumped while ever doing this yet. So <laughs> we thought he was attacked by something. That's how bad. I mean, <laughs> I, I yelled. <laughs> so it was. It's, I mean, it's black. <laughs> we are out there at what one in the morning. Yeah, it was like pitch black, middle of nowhere, in a field an hour, in house. next to a swamp. Yeah. Now, That's first in context, though. Oh, sorry, I mean, I didn't mean to cut you off there. Earlier, we were going back to that same trail because the owner was showing us kind of some uh, how the Bigfoot kind of move some of the trees together to form like a trail to kind of herd the deer deer through. Um, and she moved one of the branches. I kind of think it's the same branch that maybe had somehow come loose, but even for me to come loose at the exact time. He but said, she did that five hours prior though. It's the thing like that. It was still daylight. And we were out there at one in the morning at that point. So it's up to you to decide what it was. <laughs> when the episode comes out, it's up to the audience to decide. I can't, that's pretty cool. You guys got to check that out. And, and that's right on the YouTube channel, right? You guys can look it up. It's the same name yep. as the team. Yep. 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 We uh, re-release that episode every every other month or so because life gets busy. But uh, we always try to put like a big focus on the history of the place, let you connect, let you connect to the building so you know like what's going on, why we're talking to this random, why are we talking to Jim and Jim, the Dr. Jim in a winery. Or no, it was uh, Doctor ah, Ring. It wasn't Doctor Ring. It was, 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 was Doctor Ring, Ring in a in the the winery. We just our most recent episode. It was at a winery, and it was Doctor Ring, and he was he did like holistic medicine. I think right. I don't remember. I'm not the history guy. That's him. I'm the director. So I just neuro neurological. Neuro neurological. I was way off. Ah, uh, here you go. <laughs> I was saying, man, if you ever want someone to die in a movie, I'd love to die in a movie. If however you want to kill me, castration, I don't give a fuck. I'd love to be in a movie, a horror movie, at some point. Um. What, what is we? Uh, my lights go on and off. My sister told me you will know where I am here because the lights flicker. Today is my birthday. Congra oh, happy birthday, Penny! Happy birthday, um, I believe it's Italian Col Colicia. It's Italian Paisan. Um, um, the lights went off this morning and, and they've gone off at least three times. Is my ceiling fan? I don't turn it on. I'll oh, get you. That you're blessed, and I see little things. And even if it's not, even if it is, a, I, whatever helps you sleep. And I, God bless it, man. If people don't believe in church, fuck them. If you go and it makes you feel good, do it. You ain't hurt nobody. Um, Nathaniel Elwell, former guest, uh, runs a Newport Paranormal Society out of Rhode Island, formerly. Still runs it, I believe, but he also runs New Hampshire. Um, did a lot of work there, does a YouTube channel. What are your thoughts, guys, on thunderstorms? Do you think they increase activity? He uh, believes they do. It could be possible. I mean, when we went to Sardinia, like I said, not a complete haunted house. It was a torrential thunderstorm when we went. It was pretty bad. It's man. almost a joke we have. Every place we go to, the weather is awful. It's either <laughs> too cold. It's either like record-breaking heat or it's like some kind of thunder or blizzard. Greystone blizzard. Uh, it was bad. Yeah. Seymour Place, we almost died on the way home because it was snow bad, sn so Snowing. bad snow. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, thunderstorm. I've I've heard that with thunderstorms bringing out energy, it, it almost believed Sardinia we got a lot of stuff and it's not haunted. I, I would lean in in that direction. I would lean that, in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it helps with the energy. See, I call bullshit on that just because a place and I'm not trying to knock it, but like the Conjuring House because 900 people go there. There's a movie. It's haunted, but it's not more mm -hmm. haunted than the fucking town hall in the middle of Bangor, Maine, because fucking 18 people died or whatever. You know what I mean? I think a lot of that is publicity. Like who ranks these mm -hmm. fucking places? To me, if someone died there, there's a possibility. And if it's built on Native American land, guess what? It's even a double possibility. So I think a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you caught stuff there, bro. And then people go, oh, it's haunted, but you caught shit. Guess what? You know it's haunted. You're the first ones in that place. It's haunted. Who cares if History mm -hmm. Channel hasn't done or Discovery yeah. Channel? Who cares? Um, the birthday girl says, I she lives in New Jersey. A lot of history there. Morristown War, George Washington. Uh, that's killer. Um, very good stuff. Um, so that's cool. So people can find you guys. Um, YouTube, you guys on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok? Um, Instagram. I put I put I post like clips from our episodes on my just personal uh TikTok um under Mikey B director. I just throw like little clips of our like the best the best stuff like when we had the tire slasher at Seymour Place. I I posted that one pretty recently. Yeah. Sorry, one of our favorite things that ever happen. Um keep it going. Yeah, we, I'm gonna show the page. We post, yeah, we post all over TikTok. Um I post a, every couple days on Instagram. Our yeah, our YouTube page right there yeah. is um the big thing we're trying to grow right now. Just yeah, they yeah the Facebook at the yeah the Facebook, yeah YouTube, YouTube yeah we and, and uh, what is it uh, subscribe and, and ring the bell is oh that, yeah is that the, <laughs> the thing there yeah. <clears throat> he handles all the social media stuff I just yeah <laughs> oh yeah thought I was subscribed I guess I'm not now I am there's I watched some videos I had it I had it suggested to me I watched this one where was it right here 
this one because you posted this recently on your Facebook page. I watched that one. Which one was that? I don't remember what I posted. There we go. All right. I'm still getting new with this stuff. Technology is weird for me. But yeah, so when you posted recently, oh, a lot of people are saying that hey, Kara Phillips says hi. Kara does a lot of stuff with her husband. They do a lot of stuff. She's someone you're going to want to, to talk to. She knows her shit. She's got her own show, uh, podcast. They do a lot of stuff in the community. I think, I don't know if you're friends with her already, but there's a lot of people here tuning in. Please, guys, get a chance. Follow Obscure Research and Investigation. Very simple, not cheesy, not fucking booyah, caught ya, woo, haunted. It's just a regular fucking decent name. They cover a lot of stuff. Um, you guys into monsters and shit? We didn't really touch on that. I want to touch on that a little bit real quick. Actually, our, our second episode was an urban legend uh, monster, uh, the pig man out this <sighs> way. We did uh we did our our very second episode was the about the pigman. We went to yeah. uh, Angola, New York, where there was one of the one of the if not was it the worst? It was one of the worst, train, of the worst disaster train disasters in uh, American yeah, history right. happened there. On top of that, there was also the story of a like a disfigured man who kind of looked like a pig. He had like a, a nose deformity, and everyone called him the pigman. And he he used to put pigs on spikes in front of his house. Is the story. Um. Yeah, I don't remember the rest of it. He, I don't know, does family burn alive or something? I can't remember <laughs> anymore. Yeah, I've heard that. Guy. If you watch the episode, you'll see all about the history. For I'm going to. I want to check it out. Everybody should. Subscribe. Yep. Hit the notification bell. Put them as favorites. Check out all their shit. Check them out on Facebook. Share. Like I'm, I've invited my whole friends list. I want to touch on something real quick. You said you went to Sleepy Hollow last year. I went to Sleepy Hollow last year. Um when my girlfriend, we spent the night in Terrytown at the Terrytown Estate. Yep. And we went to Washington Irving's gravesite. We went to the Headless yep. Horseman Bridge, bro. Yep. Yeah, I even I actually bought the copy, the 1820 copy, for 450 bucks of, of, of the whole Washington Irving's. It's the first American publicist to make it overseas. 1821, it was printed. It's a... It's a Awesome. It's, a, it's a first edition, a late first edition, but I, it's two books. It's a series. It's got a lot in there, but I paid 430 bucks for it or some shit <laughs> like that. I, it's in, oh, in yeah, Sleepy the real Hollow, deal. What do you I, think? I, I went to a burger place in Sleepy Hollow and it was a, oh, yeah. it was the logo and it, it made my entire week. It was the, there was a logo. It was, it was the classic Headless Horseman holding, you know, holding the pumpkin, but the pumpkin was a burger and it changed my life. <laughs> Just how awesome that was. Like, I don't care how much the burger costs. We're going there. It's it's almost like to me it's like Salem, like New Orleans, like Gettysburg, which I know we probably never been to any of these fucking places. I've been to Salem a lot. I've been to Gettysburg, and it's fucking euphoric. Most people want to go to Bahamas, want to go to Florida, want to go to the beach. Don't get me wrong, a girl in bikini is awesome. That's I get it. But at the same time, dude, to go into a place where murder happened or crime or not crime so much, but like wars, history, yeah, like I'd love to go to San Diego where the history. Cecil is and where the Whaley House is and shit. Like wow, you know, I mean. There's some big stuff out there. What do you What do you guys see? Um, you as individuals, you as a team, doing? I want to hear the fucking clown in the middle talk, dude. Krampus is yeah, main man. You this. motherfucker better say something. What do you want to do, brother? What do you want to see out of this year, man? You want to go to someplace cool? You want to do a big movie investigation? What do you see yourself doing, brother? I Meet and greets, conventions. To start to, uh, you know, uh, provoke. I'm just playing with you. Just like Zach. <laughs> Like, ah, do that to me, do that to me. Ah, I love it. He's a quiet guy, but I had to rattle his cage a little bit because I love that. But I feel like I feel like you're just watching, and I feel like I'm not including you, so I had to bust your balls a little bit. I see you in real life. I'm gonna give you a hug and a Hershey kiss. You better watch your mouth. I love it. (laughs) Good people. So you you guys see yourself doing this until the cows come home, right? This is kind of your thing. Obviously, you've got lives, jobs, families. You know, we would do it more if life and work wasn't in the way like that's, that's yeah we just we need to win the lotto and then we're yeah. gonna buy our, our our rv that we're gonna slap a big slap a big logo on the side of it and 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 just start hitting the road but would no, you really like, though it, it started out as a as a hobby but it's like i enjoy just visiting these locations you yeah. know just being there and and kind of learning the history talking to the owners seeing what they've experienced and just kind of finding out about it and then just being there for yourself, like the conjuring house. Like that's where we are. We're doing that. Super in October, excited like about a week that before, uh, a week before Halloween, Halloween on his oh. birthday. My birthday. Yeah. So happy birthday. You bastard. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta go to Bashiba's go grave. Oh, I mean, we're, yeah. Oh, we're going to, we're doing, 
as much as we can there. Yeah, we're see that's cool right. because I mean obviously people can like things and I love King and I love the fake and I love stuff, but at the same time is life is a big Pokemon Go. I want to go see where they shot, which I did go to Pennsylvania, Evan City, where they filmed Night of the Living Dead. They're coming to get you, Barbara. I've been to that oh, cemetery. Very cool. <laughs> I've been to the cemetery, crazy. brother. Oh, yeah. yeah, boy, they got a big plaque yeah. there. And it's about it because I figure, you know what, I could spend my life on on 55 subscriptions to Hulu and Netflix and fucking Tommy Zinger and the fucking Disney <laughs> Channel. Or I can go to Salem and go walk where the witches were before they got hung. And, exactly. or, or maybe go to fucking Rhode Island and go see, oh, which I have gone to, H.P. Lovecraft's gravesite in Providence. And the last house he was in where he died in, in Providence. Because why not? I know, exactly. Once, and right? that, that, that's what, inter- I mean, that's what drives me. I mean, that that's what, for me, that's the biggest draw to, to go and do it. I mean, yeah, if we, you know, catch a full-bodied apparition, hey, that's great, yeah, too. Cool. But, you know, <laughs> it'd be good for the show at the very least. <laughs> but Damn right, you know, brother. Paychecks, to ching But like I say, you and ultimately, you'd love to get paid to travel to research. Why not? Oh, yeah. I, would, oh, what yeah. I wouldn't get oh, to geez, do that. Yeah, to do that instead of uh, being... Uh, Office drones. Office drones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah office dro- we'll say office drones. Oh, hey, guys, we're going to give you $75,000 a piece to go to Dracula's Castle for five months and record. Sorry. Oh, no. Well, who gave me my back? Where did we sign up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Like you say, you're not in it for the money, but it doesn't hurt, but you're in it for the love. It's not a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a watered down, not, not watered down, but there's so many motherfuckers that out there that just claim to be these paranormal investigators where it's hard to determine if they're weekend warriors that just want a little stint. Or if they like, you guys seem to put in some hard work. You really yeah, seem put, to. We put a lot of time do, into these. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and like you said, we're we're not getting paid. We put in blood, sweat, tears, and and a lot of funds into a lot of sweat because these places are hot. Oh yeah, lots of sweat. <laughs> yeah, a lot of sweat. Yeah, <laughs> fucking you know, buckets. So it's, a I, it's, it's dude. As you know, it's not an easy job between stuff laying out, walking at night, broken glass, and abandoned places and shit. It's like this going down hillsides and poison ivy and, and no trespassing signs. It's not a glamorous job. Usually, usually that's me. I'm usually the one laying on things or sitting in a room with dolls. or do. I do the weird stuff is what I usually do in that show. Getting on the toilet for three hours? <laughs> I did do that. Hey, JW, they love you. You're the best cameraman out there, brother. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now, he's not the best Melissa. driver because usually, uh, yeah. usually he tries to kill us at least. It's on an the adventure way there. just getting to the location with with him driving, but uh, <laughs> we we usually make it Squirrel. somehow. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> yeah, but I love it because where most people go to maybe like a softball league or maybe hunting with the boys, you guys are like me and my. I don't really have any friends anymore. They're all pretty much dead. I don't know if I'm cursed, but I, when I used to have friends, we used to go to like the Oliver House, in Massachusetts, just road trips for the weekend. Oh, a haunted place for the night. Let's go get a oh, burger yeah. after. Like whoopity do. And you. I like that because to me, that's fucking where it's at. Because you're helping find answers. You're, you're doing something rewarded, and you're not really wasting time. You're kind of living life. Right, I mean, you're seeing cool shit, and it's yeah. fun. The, each one of these places, I could tell a story from. There's always something. There's always a story. Something we weird that happened, yeah, or something that we can we can discuss. Each one of these places we've been to, we can discuss something weird. Be be it the t- what we dubbed the tire slasher in Batavia, be it the, the me me getting attacked by a swamp witch in the trees. You know, it's there's always stuff that happens. But yeah. the that's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, Michael, this brings me to the next question for all you guys around. We got a couple more minutes to go if you guys don't mind. Um, what give me some of your, your favorites? Give me one of your favorites for New York. Have you have you have you really investigated outside of New York besides obviously conjuring coming up? Yeah, give me um, a favorite for outside of New York and inside New York that a favorite that you've been to just as far as paranormal investigating go. Just new we've only been to just New York so far, like okay. this general area. We're working yep. on my favorite well, conjuring house for away from New York, then we'll say. My absolute favorite would be Greystone Manor. One, we got a great breakfast after we survived the oh, night, which was nice. Yeah. By the um, way, we're in a little hangover. <laughs> it was one of the most active places we've been to, and we were still kind of new, so it was like, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> but Fun fact, we all huddled <laughs> in a room at late at night and slept to, slept together slept in, in the same, same room. Because we were so <laughs> terrified. <laughs> Because that was, after, all Tom, yeah, that awesome. was after Tom almost had his heart attack. Little fun fact. And we had native <laughs> chanting come over the spirit box, yeah. which we still can't explain in the basement. In the basement. Like that was, it, and that was, again, it was built on native burial ground. Yeah. But I think that's actually true. Like, I think that's a real fact, actually. But uh, we heard native chanting while we were in the basement over the spirit box. And it, it kept going. Like it wasn't, we heard the chop, you know, the, the chopping of the spirit box, but the, the music was playing like that wasn't even happening. So we, I still don't, I don't know what 
I don't know what was happening there, but that was it it sounded like Nate it sounded like Native American chanting. And we and we had people tell us that's what it sounds like too. So yeah, I don't that, think it was a radio station that no, something something was just, weird there. Something that I'll was, give you that one. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was, was a tough yeah. one. That, but that one's my personal favorite. There's a couple others I like, but I think that one, if I had to pick one the one to do, we're actually gonna go back. Our season three premiere is gonna be go back to Greystone. Giving away hint, hint, giving away our secrets. But that's no, a, that's gonna be our brother. This is premiere. what it's about. This is gonna be on my YouTube channel forever. Yeah. It's going to be on my uh, the hard copy on YouTube tomorrow on the Historically Haunted YouTube channel. I've got three seasons on there. I've interviewed Dustin Perry. I've interviewed Jeff Mudgett, who is H.H. H. Holmes' great-great-grandson, America's first serial killer. I've got Tony Sparrow, Chris McKennell. So you're going to be right up there with all of them in rotation. And I'm going to have you on there on my Facebook page. And uh, I'd love to have you guys back on eventually. And uh, obviously, uh, we're going to go, we can go about another six minutes, if you guys don't mind. We'll go a little bit over sure. since we started yeah. late. Um, people still thank you guys. We still got about 15 people in chat watching. Thank you guys for watching. Um, feel free. I'm sorry, I'm just catching up on comments. But if you guys get some more comments or questions, don't forget Adam Began, August 14th. You're on my show. I can't wait. That's right, Kara. I gotta get you my info. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for fucking calling me out. I that's right, you're right. I do gotta get you the info for that. Um so so um as far as all this goes, like you guys are, are just going for it like the season you're making episodes you do all the editing you do all the kit he does the camera work and you guys just go as a three-person team it sounds like you got support from your friends and family apparently <laughs> that helps yeah. so um that's cool dude i dig that because i was part of a team for a while and all it was was people trying to outdo each other and well i got a spot for a podcast well i'm gonna be on this show well i'm gonna go here and it's like are we a team or are we like eight people trying to be individuals you know what yeah. i mean like yeah. i just yeah. And I think there's a limit. I don't want a team that more than five. You got eight or ten people, and you're fucking going camping every weekend. Everybody, oh, yeah. we've talked about that before. Yeah, like we, we think three is a good a good we, number we, for us. Yeah, we like our small group. We're we're a close knit group. I mean, you know, five or less. Five or less is my yeah. model. I can't do. I even five is pushing it. I think four is okay. Maybe three is good. You have the wingman, but that's cool. Um, I think the camera guy's where it's at, and that's good to be, dude. Real quick, cameraman, that's pretty wild. Do you dig that shit? You get that view sure. stuff. You, you you don't really if they're looking at you. You don't really they, you get to see what they're not looking at. Like you must. He get was a, uh, he's he was the cameraman originally because he didn't want to be on camera until we forced him to be on camera. <laughs> Where's like Jason? Just sit there. We're, you're gonna be on camera with the rest of us. And he gets it set up and he takes yeah. he takes a lot of the behind the scenes pictures. That's why like, I didn't see him much. much. That's Facebook why. I, yeah, that's why I see him a little bit. That's why I don't see him much. And I'm just giving you shit, brother. I'm just I, I fucking respect you, and I'm just calling you out. I'm totally playing with you. Oh, we do um, the same thing, so. But, the, but Melissa, Caitlin, Penny, of course, Kara, Philip, Heather, everybody in chat. Thank you guys for listening and watching. Um, real quick, where can people find um, Obscure Research and Investigation? Go. Name drop um, everything. The biggest the biggest one we want people to follow and subscribe to is our YouTube channel. This We put so many hours into like making these making the videos and the more people watching it, awesome the better. Episodes, yeah. I want we want to see it grow. Um, I have a I have an Instagram that I post. Pretty. I post more often on the Instagram than I do on Facebook. Just going lazy, um, but we do have a Facebook. Same thing. Obscure research and investigation on YouTube, Instagram, um, Facebook, and then my personal TikTok is uh, Mikey B Director. I post clips of my movies and clips from our paranormal show on there as well. But the YouTube is the big one. The YouTube is what we've been trying to trying to grow because we we put so much. Yeah, like you said, blood, sweat, and tears into the into these episodes so the more people to watch it the better i like that you got the energy and drive and then you got the dude out back who's a quiet cameraman and you get the guy over here who's the debunker you're well-rounded you're <laughs> yeah. all different in your own ways which i think is good if you're all the same you'd be all chasing your fucking tail I think oh, yeah. all get your yeah. own, you know what i mean you guys get your own level that you bring to the table which is kind of neat um a couple more minutes to go we got another great question do you guys allow people to come along with you on, on investigations as like a training thing or maybe like a guest appearance or something not usually. The only time we've ever had someone other than us was uh, Christina at uh, our season two premiere at Wildwood. Was the only time we ever had anyone else. But usually, okay. usually it's just us. We're pretty. But we are open to collaboration. With, yeah, you know, definitely. Like a, like a we're not pricks, but uh, we're medium or, or psych. You know, <laughs> yeah, things like that to kind of add a little bit more, a little more flair, more flair, flavor to the to the show. To or if you come to Maine, where there's, where there's a B-52 crash site on Elephant Mountain by my house in Greenville, where, where eight people died. If you needed a guest historian, maybe, to stick on with you or something, yeah. I could show you around, or Stephen King. I feel like, 
I feel like we need to do a few episodes in I Maine. Think, just take like a two weeks and do a few episodes Maine. there. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I know Bucksport is where Colonel Buck, they named Bucksport after him. It's by Fort Knox in Maine. Um, there's a black foot that comes on his tombstone because he got a girl pregnant and then got her accused her of witchcraft. So he hung her and said she'd dance on his grave. They replaced his grave five times and the black foot mark keeps coming on his grave. Oh, and I've been there. I got so pictures cool. of it. And there's a witch buried in York, the white witch of York, Mary Nason. Dude, I got fa- pirate ships yeah, off Casco Bay. Place. I can fucking, wow. I'll make your fucking head spin i got five seasons for it come down to me we'll split it um awesome. so honestly dude um, i'm gonna have to have michael come on i think sometime maybe just talk about some of the movies you do maybe do a oh, yeah. spot or, or maybe have you guys come back on and just talk about that but an hour and 10 minutes is way too fucking short because uh yeah i'm only allowed so much time with stream per week but um uh real quick before we go any questions for me i always ask the guests you guys gonna ask me something fun a question or anything Be respectful, yeah. nothing silly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have a penis. <laughs> I, I have a question. What, what's your favorite Stephen King book? Oh, boy. Um, honestly, what's dude, the first one I ever read, and because it's probably the movie itself was filmed entirely in Maine, just because he, his the whole thing was based in Maine, his pet cemetery. Mm-hmm. He wrote the book in Orrington, Maine. I've been there in Orrington. It's right next to Bangor. He rented a house with his wife, and his son Owen ran towards the road, and he caught him before he got killed by a uh, Chimbro. Chimbro was a cement factory truck. Almost hit him. And out back of the woods is a pet cemetery spelled with an S because a kid misspelt it, and that's where he buried his daughter's cat. Naomi cat got mm-hmm. killed on that road, Route 15, and I've been to the house. It looks like Amityville, getting two Amityville eyes, yes. and there was a dead possum in the road, and I went to where the – yeah, so long story short, dude, Pet Cemetery, um, for awesome. sure. Um, he said it's the scariest thing he's ever written. Um, it's right up there, too, and I and I love um, – I just finished Gerald's game, but um, – that cemetery. I know it's cliche, and everybody goes, and I know it's wicked mainstream, but it really is brutal, dude. Because you realize what's his face is Judd's wife is the one that like dies. It's not so much the maid girl in the book, so it's a little switched around. But and then I've been to the house in Hancock, the red house, the yellow house with the red trim, and you've been down the trail. Oh, I've been to the rock quarry with the rocks in the middle. He goes, "We're almost there now, Lewis." And he goes, "You keep saying that." I've been there, that rock quarry. It's in Maine. Oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah, awesome. I got a video on my YouTube exactly. channel, man. I fucking drove me an hour and a half to get there from my house, and I went alone. A dog chased me. I found a tick on me, but it was fucking oh, it's <laughs> worth it. <laughs> God, it's so easy being an explorer, an investigator. You know, it's so easy, it's so cushy. Yeah, awesome. But uh, great question. Thank you. I appreciate it because, uh, man, I was I was seven years old when I moved to Lisbon. My mom goes, you're going to go to the same high school Stephen King went to, Lisbon High School. You're going to be a Greyhound. And I learned about him, and I watched The Shining at nine years old. And my dad went hunting, and I said, what the fuck is this? And that was it. <laughs> that was it. I just yep. I, Then I started reading his books, and he's a good dude. He donates. He's not perfect, alcohol and drugs, but he's been good to his wife and kids. Donations mm-hmm. could be worse. Um, he's a brilliant mind. So, uh, yeah. But Absolutely. you guys come to Maine, dude. I'll roll the red carpet out. We'll have a good time. Well, we'll let you know. We'll we let you know, Shirley. Be yeah. in Maine. <laughs> so, um, guys, go check out. You got you guys gonna check out these fucking cats. I mean, we can't say enough good things. You're all over the place, like you said. But YouTube is your honeypot. Obscure oh, yeah. research and investigation on YouTube, Facebook too. Um, they're there a lot, and they sponsored the show. Great guests. So, thank you guys for coming on. Yeah, thank um, you. Yeah, no, thank guys. you very much. Been an awesome I'm glad like, like four hours. With oh, yeah, we stuff, could. So, yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. I know. We're going to have you back on, too. I'm glad Krampus behaved. Next time we'll put a mic on him. Right. And um, <laughs> thank you, everybody, tuning in to, uh, let's see, um, on with, uh, I don't know if they're talking. Is this is this bad? The peen joke? Oh, my, do I, I got a pee-pee. I get it. Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a little behind now. I've had I've had a beer, uh, two beers and a joint, so fucking <laughs> it's my Friday. You know what I mean? But have a good night, Caitlin. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for swearing in front of your father and you. Um, <laughs> and you guys are awesome people, dude. I can't say enough fun stuff. Thank you guys for coming Thank on. You. The yeah, first time, great. oh, here we go. The first time I saw Pet Cemetery, which was with an S, private screening. Uh, a couple of them, I'm sure I bear a dick. <laughs> You guys are some funny fans. Um, so thank you so much. Next time you come on, I'll be more professional. We'll talk a little bit more about uh, what you guys actually do instead of just bullshitting for an hour. Um, <laughs> oh, real quick. What's your favorite go-to? Uh, uh, what's your what's your music that pumps you up? What's your favorite band? I always ask for everybody. Ooh, I listen, I listen to Eminem and Rob Zombie. I'm a weird mix. <laughs> That's fucking weird. I like it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Two minutes. Go. Rolling Stones and Journey. 
I if he ever to- hurts you, I won't be the one to desert you. I listen to all kinds uh, of Oh, fucking weed. He Johnny Cash. There that a go. boy. <laughs> that a boy. I was going to say, what's your, favorite, what's your favorite Skrillex song, then? You listen to all music. <laughs> I got here. Johnny Cash is good. I love my boy. That's good. So great job. Uh, we're giving props from everybody. Great job, Jason. Talk more next time. Next time we go, we're going to get Jason really drunk so we can talk about his times in high school with his first love. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Next so, time. Hey, be good. Um, you come to Maine. I want to be on a fucking episode, or I will hunt you oh, down. Yeah. Um, thank yeah. you for coming on. I'll get you back on next time because I want to talk more about your filming and shit. So this is yeah. just more of a get you get you involved in the crowd. But you're up there. You guys have been great, great guests, and you guys have been letting me spew my venom for an hour and a half. So um <laughs> any last words? Any thank yous, goodbyes? Yeah, no, we just we appreciate the time. You know, it's been awesome. You know, our, our first uh, I would say what first pod, first podcast uh, yeah, for sure. so th- thanks so much for your guests us. were great or yes, like no a pretty great host you guys handled yourself pretty good usually people gotta pull their fucking what's your name um you gotta pull them out of their throat you guys this is your first one first it's our one, first yeah. one we've also but we've also had some beer before this pre-game oh that's good and i wore protection it's always easy on you in your first time that's good um we'll get you on your next one next time and we're gonna get that cat in the middle to open up or i'll make krampus pull his tongue out thank you guys <laughs> for watching historically haunted thank podcast you. next week I should know this by heart. It's the dude that was the producer of the movie The Spookies, the 1986 classic movie. I'm getting a lot of Hollywood people on that, which is pretty neat. Um, and then 4th of July weekend, I'll be in the truck from Pet Cemetery. Then me and Heather will be on July 6th. So stay tuned for season three. And I'll have these dudes on hopefully the end of season three, maybe season four. But if not, definitely season three. They're friends. Check them out. They're always in chat. Michael, appreciate you guys. Be good. Until next time, Historically Haunted Vodcast on Facebook. Thank you to our sponsors, Donnie Green Trucking, Bauer Green Trucking Transport, uh, and everybody, um, John Green Logistics Company.